Welcome to another edition of the Davidson Football Player Spotlight. I'm joined today by junior running back Wesley Duggar. Wesley, you had 193 yards, five touchdowns, you averaged almost nine yards per carry. What was working well for you this weekend? I mean, you know, the, my name goes with the stats, you know, it goes with the record, it goes with all that, but it's a testament to the players around me. Um, you know, working well was everybody was doing their job and giving full effort. You know, if there was a missed block, the guy was moving upfield to get the next guy. Um, so I would say that, like a lot that was working well for me was my teammates' unrelenting will to just keep going, keep doing better. You know, coach told us we got to turn up the energy. You know, San Diego, we had a lull and this week. It was all focused on playing four quarters of our best effort every single play. So, you know, the teammates really opened up the gaps and opened up the holes that allowed me to, you know, get the yardage that was necessary. When did you know you broke the record? When did they tell you? Um, so in the game, you really lose focus like about like the overall stats of your career. Um, I knew that once I hit the third touchdown, I'm always pushing for that fifth touchdown. I've had, I think, two games where I scored four, knowing that the record is five in a game. So once I got that fourth one, the eyes got big. I just wanted to go back out there and get the fifth one. I didn't know where I stood kind of career-wise because, um, you know, my next focus and biggest focus is always win the game. You know, what does it mean to me if I win, if I rush for 500 and I get 10 touchdowns but we still lose the game? It, it, that's not what's important. You know, I'd rather get a 60-yard 60 60 yard game and get a win like we did against Georgetown versus, you know, all these gaudy stats because um, I'm a team first kind of like we need to win first. So, um, but yeah, once I got the fifth touchdown, I was elated because I knew I broke the like single game record. And it wasn't until the bus ride that um, coach got on the bus and like told me, and I was like, oh, whoa. And I started, just started seeing Twitter starting to um, like mention me in a bunch of comments, and that's kind of where I learned. All right, there was a 74-yard run. I'm sure you remember. You were tripped up with, what, three yards? <laughs> yeah. What were you thinking getting tripped up there? And were, did the coaches reward you and get you that <laughs> touchdown after that? Yeah. Um, so when you get the ball, you know, on that play specifically, it was a triple option play. So... Um, you get the ball, um, you go through the mess, you get the ball, and you know that you can't bounce it outside because there's a guy that's unblocked. So you split the um, seam of the lineman, and then the linebackers are in pursuit or getting blocked um, of the pitch man and the quarterback. And I see the, the next two level, or the next level is the two safeties. You know, the safety on my right, he was flying out to go get the pitch man, and the safety on the left is covering the inside, the middle third. Um, I see the safety on my right stumble, and I, the safety on my left, he, he, he re-angles himself to go, um, and a 45 degree angle to chase me to the end zone. Um, so as I see him on my left, I'm kind of making sure that, that, that he stays over there and I know that this guy on my right stumbled so he's not gonna be in close pursuit. And so as I keep motion, like going towards my right to get away from that left side safety, I didn't account for the corner backing off the ball before the play. And so I, I, you know, a lot goes through your mind while you're rushing. Um, you know, I listen to like the crowd some, which is odd, but like you can hear when like there's a little of that silence because they think like something might happen. And so figured somebody was close. <laughs> um, when I felt him grab the back of my jersey, I knew the next was going to be the ball punch. Um, tried to punch the ball out. I mean, it's a great testament to his speed and like his athleticism. Uh, yeah, man, <laughs> it, it, it sucks. So you really want to finish it for the highlight tape, I guess. But um, yeah, and then knowing that you ran that far, uh, Coach Abel usually will reward you for, you know, the next play. So I just had to stay in and get that next um, push in. And yeah, that's what happened. Were you pretty gassed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only three yards to go. Gas? <laughs> Can't explain it. I mean, it, yeah, I got stood up at the, um, the goal line and pushed in by my teammates. So, I mean, it was a great team effort on that play. Yeah, tired. <laughs> yeah, that's to put it nicely. I was, I was feeling it. One thing I notice about all of you running backs in slots, you have some great blocks. You go blocking for each other. I saw you turn the corner for Eli or Khalil. Um, how fun is it to go knocking people around? Yeah, I mean, anything I can do to open up their game is going to open up my game um, and open up the quarterback's game and open up the receiver's game. So, you know, it's important that when you play this position not to be selfish. You know, you're not only focused about running the ball. you got to be, you know, diligent to, as a teammate. Um, and just, I mean, seeing, like, these kids that you know that you play with like Eli you know such a talented player Khalil such a talented player high IQ players both of them and being able to open up gaps for them and open up seams to them I mean it's it's great I mean you like you you crave the competitiveness and you want to see them succeed so much and that I mean that's what really makes us so great is we want to see each other succeed so much so knocking like the crap out of people is 
is little, is little compared to just seeing your teammates succeed so much. Um, and I think that's what's most important about our offense is we just want each other to do so well. Another group that wants to see you guys succeed, I noticed on the bus ride home you had a Twitter interaction with former Wildcat running back Eric Ferguson. Um, you each praise each other for your careers and your successes. How cool is it to have connections with these guys? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a humbling experience and it's great. Um, you know, when you come into a, a program, you look at the stats and you know, you're like, maybe one day I could be mentioned amongst them, you know? You have a good first year and you're like, okay, like this guy might be it, but you know, we gotta see next year. And then the next year happens, you're like, this could be him, this really could be him. Um, and to be able to be mentioned within those, like that circle, is like the most humbling thing in of itself. And being able to have him, you know, reach out to me with such a positive message and so nice um, and like so motivational to keep on pushing, I mean, it means the world. And I like, I'm forever grateful for him um, for like, you know, prove, like providing that benchmark, you know, something to chase after. And then also like just pushing me to keep on going. Um, and I think, I mean, it's a great thing to like, Coach Abel was talking about earlier is to bring the errors together. You know, it's a great thing to see like former Cats like supporting us now. So, Wesley and the Wildcats have three games left here at Richardson Stadium, five overall. Be sure to come out and support the team. It's been great having you, Wesley. For Wesley Duggar, I'm Jake Brewer. Thanks for joining us.